Kati family, this is Godzilla Chain 1090. So on to this today with a brand new review. And today, huh, today, take a little nostalgia chip. Today we're going to be talking about the Super 7 Dark Horse Godzilla. Man, oh man, oh man. <sighs> when I tell you all that every 80s, 90s baby, Good with the Godzilla Dark Horse comics. That's an understatement. We all grew, we all grew up with these comics. We honestly did. We all grew up with these comics. These comics were absolutely all staple as children, growing up as Godzilla fans. And this, this Godzilla right here, is pop. Why is he? Why are you yelling at me? Sorry, sorry about that. Anyways. This Godzilla right here is probably one of the most iconic Godzillas we got from that Dark Horse series, Godzilla King of the Monsters. So of course, we know the backstory for this Godzilla. I haven't read the comic in years, but I do I do remember the story pretty, pretty for the most part. Godzilla gets uh, gets gets poisoned with this poison dart that I want to say no, no, I don't think they're G Force in the comic, but the military operation do poison Godzilla, which does cause him to start bleeding, bleeding from his mouth and everything. And when I say I never thought we'd get this in figure form, that's an understatement. Like, I honestly didn't think we was ever going to get a figure like this. This thing is better than advertised. Honestly, when they announced this at, um, at Comic-Con, it had to be an instant buy for me. And honestly, I wasn't able to buy it right away because, of course, I didn't go to Comic-Con because Comic-Con was the week after G-Fest. So, obviously, I didn't have no money either. So at that time, I wasn't able to, de to get the figure right then and there. But I was able to find it on eBay for a little bit more than retail. But you know what? It's absolutely worth it. And I'll show you why right now. Let me pull the camera up a little bit closer. You can't see this thing up close and personal. Thank you. And here is the Super 7 Dark Horse Godzilla. Oh, but wait. This this is a box. This is this, this a box here. <laughs> we all know I usually don't talk about boxes in my reviews, but I'm not gonna lie, this box is too absolutely nasty, and I absolutely can't help the fact to talk about this box. This art bot has this art has the beautiful artwork from that comic series. You got the beautiful silhouette of Godzilla with the blood dripping from him. Of course, crumbling buildings coming down on the side. Of course, the eye of Godzilla. I specifically remember this page in the comic book when I was growing up. And this is absolutely stunning. One thing that I have always said about Super 7 is Super 7's boxes are mwah, magnifico. This absolute perfection. Like this, look at this awesome thing. Looks just like it came right off the comic book. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And of course, here's the back of it as well. Um, showing showing another, another scene from the actual comic. This, bo this box is absolute artwork. And boxes like these, like these I can keep. Now, I have gone past the point where I'm, like, keeping all my X Plus boxes and stuff. But, yeah, this box is staying. And here is the lovely figure himself. Now, I have not... I don't really have too many graphs about him. The only thing I wish was a little... Was tweaked a little tidbit was maybe the green they used on him. But even at that, though, this thing is perfect to me. This thing looks incredible. And I'm not going to lie, when Dark Horse, when, not Dark Horse, I'm sorry, when Super 7 first showed off the 1989 Godzilla with the one with the Rose Biolanti, I was kind of scared because that, that one looked muddy, the face looked off, the paint job was just, ugh. It was just, I was worried about this thing when that when they, when they announced that, and I thought it was going to be a carbon copy of that. But no. Super 7 actually had a completely new scoped. I, mean, I, I think they made a new scope. As far as I know, I don't have the 89 Super 7, the Super 789, but to me, it's like they made a completely new scope for this. And this looks absolutely fantastic. Of course, with the, of course, with the, with the, with the, again, another green, green, green figure decided this reviewed one not too long ago. If y'all seen my review, y'all know which one it is. But I really do love how this looks. This looks incredible. I love Green Godzilla. Nothing about Green Godzilla is just phenomenal. And of course, y'all know this does have alternate heads. So the what I was showing a moment ago was the open mouth head, and of course we have the closed mouth head now. Which to me they both look pretty good, especially with the blood running down Godzilla's face to second a comic. 
and of course, y'all know this is an articulated figure. It has all types of articulations in it. Of course, articulation in the arms, in the head. The head moves up and down, even though it does have two heads, so the jaw on the open mouth one doesn't move, but that's okay because the head still moves. And of course, we have articulations in the legs and the feet, obviously. But and so at some points, they are a little stiff, but I mean, it's okay. And the tail has articulation too. I just wish the articulation was a little bit more manageable with the tail. But again, it's nothing that's like outrageous or anything like that. It's, I can definitely work with it for sure. And if I do start taking more pictures of it, I'll probably try and experiment with the tail a bit more. This to really show it off and everything. But I mean, and as you and you're seeing size comparisons in a bit, this isn't this is not a small figure. And of course, one of the accessories that did come with this Godzilla is the little Art Adams. And as you see, Godzilla's over the eyeball on them. I don't know what Godzilla plans to do with Art Adams, but I don't think it's going to be good, guys. So um, just back up real quick, because we may not want to see that. But I do really like, I've, I've always liked companies that do give out little extras and stuff like this, because this is stuff we don't see all the time. Like I said, this Godzilla comes with like three or four different pairs of hands. There's the close fist hand, and then of course there's another open another open hand for for you to, to to interchange it with as well. Which I don't know. Which I guess they put this hand here so you can beat up all Adams. I honestly do not know, but I don't know. I love the all the different accessories we do get with this Godzilla, and for the price tag. I mean, I th like I told you, I found it on eBay on the aftermarket, so I didn't pay retail for it. But even at the price that I paid for it, it's still it's, you still get a lot with this. You still get a lot with this figure, and this figure is phenomenal. And I have no gripes as a not really avid Super Seven collector. Besides some Power Ranger stuff, I'm really impressed by this. With well, speaking of Power Rangers. Of course, the of course the first thing we gotta do is size comparison with is with the sin. Uh, I forget what brand this is. Ah, I gotta go back in. I'll I'll toss it here in the video somewhere. But this is the Dragon Zord. This is not Super Seven. This is um. Oh my God, I'm blanking on the name. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But like I said, I'll toss it in the video somewhere. But as you see, this Dragon Zord even stands pretty tall with Godzilla. Godzilla's really big, and then even this Dragon Zord is about eight, nine inches. I'm assuming, so you stat you can really see how big he is compared to Godzilla. Godzilla is a big, big figure as far as articulate figures go. Because of course, y'all know with most articulate figures are a little bit on the small side, more the six, six inch side. But they really beefed this boy up, and I really do like that. I like that they actually beefed him up quite a bit. So you can have go for Pope different array of figures. And like I said, this to me looks absolutely stunning. I love it. Especially since the Dragon Zord was always my favorite Megazord growing up. It's perfection. And of course, we got the NECA 1933 King Kong. Now I know that this King Kong is a big boy too. This King Kong is bigger than most of my most, if not all my articulated figures in my collection, besides the Dark Horse Godzilla. I just see the Dark Horse Godzilla. He even, I want to say he towers over him, but he does have a, a, a nice little, a, a nice little uh, inch or two over him. There's, so you can see how big he really is compared to King Kong. Of course, King Kong has those big old long arms, and he's a big long boy himself. But he's not as tall as Godz as tall as the Dark Horse Godzilla. I really did like that we did get a taller figure for this because this is awesome and. More accurate when Godzilla fights or kills Kong, and of course for the for the for the trip the triple K uh, nineteen eighty nine Godzilla, you even see the Dark Horse Godzilla is a little bit bigger than that too. Yes, the triple K Godzilla is a lot nicer, a lot more screen accurate and detailed. But remember, this Dark Horse Godzilla came from a comic book, so it doesn't need to be as detailed as uh, actual Godzilla that came out of the movie. So I really do think that they do look incredible together. And I'm not going to lie, this will be a photo shoot that you will see also. Y'all know how I am about Godzilla versus Godzilla. I think this should be a fun one to do, honestly, with these two. Even though this Godzilla does have like an inter-show so over him, it's called photo magic. I can make it work. 
But I do think that um, this Star Wars Cosmo does stack up pretty well at, as far as being as tall as a lot of my other taller, taller articulated figures in my collection, making it easier for photo shoots and things of that nature. All right, I'll go and give you my final thoughts on the Super 7 Dark Horse Godzilla. And we're back. And that's my view on the Super 7 Dark Horse Godzilla. Now, like I showed you on, in, uh, not like I showed you, of course, in personal, this thing has a lot of accessories to come with it. Different head, a couple different hands, and even a little Art Adam stuff for Godzilla to kind of just look at and stare at. And anyways... Besides the point, this this thing is absolutely incredible. For and honestly, I was really scared with the Super Seven Godzilla scopes because we did see that this recently they did release Biolanti and Godzilla. That was the first thing that they announced from that line, and honestly, the Godzilla looked bad. I don't have the Godzilla because I have enough eighty nine in my collection. I don't. I didn't need another eighty nine, so I passed on it. I got Biolanti, which I'm still waiting to get, but. I had to pass on Godzilla because it's just, I didn't need any more 89s. And I'm glad I did because the paint job on that was just atrocious. I hated it. I hated every, every bit of it. The scope was eh. Like, no, I, I couldn't do it. To me, even the, 19, the 1993 NECA Godzilla looked better than that thing did. And you know how that vision, those original NECAs looked. But this... They hit this out of the absolute park. This thing is incredible. Just the, the, the care of the details they took on this Godzilla makes, it really makes fans of this comic going up extremely happy because we was all very excited to get this thing when it got announced. And if you don't have it, please go get it. Especially if you love this comic book series just like I did as a kid. This is definitely the starter trip for you. And like I said, in the, of course, in personal... Who doesn't love Green Godzilla? Who doesn't love Green Godzilla? But that's all I got for this review, guys. Uh, I got a, quite a few reviews coming up, actually. Uh, I won't really, I won't tell you what I have coming up next, but it's definitely gonna be exciting. I'm really excited for y'all to see that. This is another figure, not on my grow list, but something I have been wanting for a while, and I am happy that I finally have it in my collection. So I'm happy to show that, show that, show that to y'all. And of course, if you haven't yet, join, join us on Monsters of Attitudes Collectors Group on Facebook and subscribe to us on uh, subscribe to Monsters of Attitude on YouTube as well to be able to see all of our all of our monthly content. By the time this video is coming out, it's going to be September. So this month in September, we're gonna be discussing something that I don't think I've seen any any other pl platform really cover too much, and I need to actually start doing my homework on it so I can be ready for it. But I'm really excited. We're going to be talking about Zone Fighter. Yes, Zone Fighter, the series that hard to get on. We don't have a nationwide release of it yet, a worldwide release of it. You have to go through back channels and things like that to be able to get a hold of Zone Fighter. And I've watched it. I'm not, y'all know me. I haven't watched too much Ultraman, but I have watched Zone Fighter. And I really do enjoy Zone Fighter for what that is. So I'm really excited to talk about that. And we do have a special guest for that show. But you have to wait till then to find out who it is. But alright, that's all I got for you guys tonight. And I hope you have a fantastic night, Kaiju family. Thank you.